Yeah, that's me. There is. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but I am so tired of hearing that we're in unprecedented times. This is unprecedented times. We've never had a world like this before. I'm ready to go back to precedented times. It turns out that's not a real word, but it should be because we need to get back to whatever normal is. So I want to tell you a little bit about the things that have been going on, right? Have you, are you aware that we've had a global pandemic? It's, I know, right? <laughs> we've had war, we still have wars going on. Earthquakes recently that have taken hundreds of thousands of lives. Supply chain issues, I don't know about you, where I live, eggs cost about $8 for a dozen right now. It's crazy times that we're living in. I live in the United States, so you know we have mass shootings and, skill sh and school shootings. We've all dealt with personal loss over the last few years, layoffs in our community, cancellations of events. This one, finally, three years later, we're able to be together. Absolutely. And, and so much more. And as a community, the things that we do together and the way that we can move forward um, really talks a lot about who we are and who, how we relate to one another. But we're tired and we're hurting from the last three years, but we're still strong. So this is me when I was very young. <laughs> Take a picture, it's adorable. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to tell you a little bit about my story. My story with WordPress started in 2012. It's the first WordPress website I ever logged into. I didn't build it, but I did put a lot of content on there. And from that very first moment, I was like, I love this. It was amazing. I didn't even know there was a community yet. I just loved WordPress. I started a few years after that freelancing, building web WordPress websites for other people. I was charging not nearly enough money. I was charging, it's okay if you laugh, $300 to build a whole website. <laughs> I know, how, I couldn't even sustain myself on that. But from there, things have grown. So I was freelancing for a while. Um, and then in 2017, I met GiveWP and the owners of GiveWP at WordCamp Pittsburgh. And then later that year at WordCamp Ottawa in Canada. And I met with them and I said, if you ever have a position open for me, I want to work for your company. In January of 2018, I started working for GiveWP and the whole world changed for me because now I was working, I already had a little bit of a name because I was doing a lot of speaking in WordPress, but the connections that I could make through working at GiveWP were amazing. And this community supported me in becoming part of a full-time WordPress employee. In 2018, I also made the decision to leave a bad marriage. And I had to move out of a home that was a very, very large old home into a very small apartment on my own. And as a disabled person, I didn't know how I was going to make that happen. I wasn't making enough money to just hire as many people as I wanted to come and move me out. So I posted on Facebook, and I said, if anybody is able to help me move July 25th at 5 o'clock, please come to my home. 18 people came to my home, 15 of them from the WordPress meetup in Rochester. I cried then and I still cry thinking about it, all the happy tears that such amazing community of people are like, we are there for you. We will do what we need to help you move forward. And then in 20, what year was it? 2020? 2021. 2021, Give was acquired by Liquid Web and there was this fear, like, oh gosh, am I still gonna have a job? There, what, people talk about acquisitions, and they talk about the companies, but they very seldom think about what happens to employees during an acquisition. It was very frightening, it was very scary, but the company that we were acquired by made it very smooth and, and very easy to continue to work. Again, it was a community of people. It wasn't that the company had rules and regulations that people had to reach out to us, but people within Liquid Web reached out to us and said, how can we make your transition here easier? And I don't mean HR, I mean people. People that worked at the different, at Nexus, people that worked at Liquid Web, people that worked at the events calendar, they all came together to say, 
We want you to be welcome here. How can we do that? Since then, I also changed jobs. So now I don't work at Give anymore. I still work within Liquid Web, but I work at Stellar WP. And that transition was made easy for people. And when I started working there, nobody in the community knew what Stellar WP was. And I got to take over the, the, um, the Twitter account and start to grow that and reach out to people and make that happen. Again, it was because of the connections and the network that I was able to pull together and able to reach out to because people are so receptive in this community. Last year, I lost my father. I can't tell you how many people reached out to me, sent me cards, sent me gifts, called me on the telephone, all within the WordPress community, to say, I just want you to know you're not alone, and there are people here who love you and will support you through this process. I'm a woman with a disability, and you may have read a story I wrote last year called Five Days Without a Shower on uh, post status about my time at WordCamp US and the fact that it was very difficult for me uh, to, to navigate the situation. The hotel room I had, I couldn't get in and out of the shower. So every day I was washing with washcloths saying, I hope I don't smell too bad <laughs> for everybody at WordCamp. But as a result of that one post, Today, here at WordCamp Asia, I've had no difficulties. Everybody, it's been amazing. The community, the community here in Asia, and specifically the organizers and the volunteers, have checked in with me frequently to make sure that I have access to the things that I need and to make my time here not only possible, but enjoyable. So thank you so much to all of the organizers, volunteers, and my fellow campers here who have been so kind to me. So you can tell that I've always looked for the good. I've always looked for the people in the community that are able to help me and be a, be a role model like Carol, you spoke earlier, and knowing that she's not, she's fearless. She comes forward and she says, I have this and I want to normalize mental health issues. And, and Ajit, with, with empathy, it's, it's amazing to hear people and be able to look up to you both as people that I can aspire to be as well. But we also, there we go, what did I say? WordPress helped me, sorry, I missed that slide. Okay, we'll keep going. Our story, so we as WordPress, how does WordPress help us? Well, in 2020, when we lost in-person events, it was devastating. All I could think of was how the WordPress community would fracture, and we would lose the ability to commune and become one with each other. But I'll tell you what really happened is, we pivoted so quickly to online events that my network grew exponentially because I was able to talk to people I didn't have connection with or the ability to because I, didn't, uh, I wasn't able to go to WordCamp India, for example. But I got to speak at WordCamp India. I got to speak at WordCamp Taiwan because I could do it through my computer screen. And that brought our community so much closer together. And those were the good people and the good situations that we had there around things like war, around things like um, some of the political unrest and things, I've seen us pull together and help one another and support one another through Twitter, through um, plugins that are made to show that you can share your sympathy and your empathy with others. Uh, visa travel issues, I know people that wanted to be here so much and their visas didn't come through or come to WordCamp US and their visas didn't come through. But still, people reach out to them through Twitter and they are able to be, albeit from a distance, part of the community and part of what's happening here. Because we create good in this community and we are good. So all we have to do to look for the good is look internally and see each other. More recently, we've seen layoffs. I asked Matt earlier a question about how do we move forward with positivity when so many of our brothers and sisters in WordPress have been laid off and are losing their jobs. And it's, it's crushing. It's, it's very difficult to see. I'm so grateful that I have a job and it makes me feel almost guilty to the people who have experienced that loss recently. But I have hope that those of us at WordCamps, those of us in the community, will find a way to incorporate those other people into 
the roles and positions that we have open. Every Wednesday, I tweet a thread of at least 14 uh, tweets, so if you haven't seen it, you're in for a few minutes of reading, but I tweet at least 10 jobs a week, or 10 companies that are hiring, multiple jobs. And I do what I can through wpcareerpages.com, which, by the way, I had vacation in 2020 during a pandemic. I had no place I could go, so I thought, why not build a website? So that's what I did over that vacation. <laughs> But if you're looking for a job, if you're one of the people affected, wpcareerpages.com lists about 80 different websites that are hiring in WordPress, or that sometimes hire in WordPress, and that's a place that you can go and look for a job. Which brings me to the question, let's see, I pushed the wrong button. What happens next? Right, so I talked about where we've been and how we look for the good and how we create good in our community, but what happens next? We have more work to do. And that's why it's important that we continue the good that we've done. We have to continue to build a CMS that, that incorporates everybody. The accessibility issues that we still encounter, those need to be fixed. The multilingual aspects of WordPress that are still lacking, we need to fix those. We as a community need to come together and create the good that will move forward that. And as a community, continue to support one another through the difficulties, the personal difficulties like I mentioned, and also the communi community difficulties that we face all together. I think we have the ability to do that because we are united and we are determined and we are strong. And that's what I have for you. Thank you.